Hey, it's Mike from Music Radar, and we are here at the Roland Open Day in London, uh, and we are checking out the uh, GT1000, which has just been updated to V3 specs. Mark's going to tell us what has changed. What's new, Mark? What's new? What's new? Uh, first and foremost, hello, folks. Um, we have version 3 update, which went live today. Um, it's given us lots of new features to play with, but really useful features that if you, you know, you're on a stage or if you're in a studio, um, you can access... Uh, manual mode now so within your patch for example you everyone knows you've got the patch mode but at a button press you can access this thing called manual mode so within the patch if there's specific pedals or specific sounds or lays you want to be able to bring on and off if you want to use loopers all stuff like that it's literally within one button press it's all there in front of you um, it's also got a brand new mode called the pedal board mode now pedal board mode is great for someone who doesn't want to use all the Amp simulations, speaker simulations, essentially you just want to have your favorite pedals going into your amplifier, whether it's effects loop or whether it's direct into the amp, and it's just as simple as that. It's really easy to dial in as well, you know. Um, that's what's cool I, I like about it. It's really easy to do. Um, last but no means least, because <laughs> um, I'm not a bass player, but we have... Um, <laughs> The GT1000 is also now, I would say, to GT1000B, mm -hmm. which means it's got all the bass effects inside. So it's all effects that have optimized for a bass guitar. It's got amp simulations, preamp speakers, and stuff like that, which are all optimized for bass guitars. So um, showing a bit of love for you bass players out there. <laughs> um, we have been asked, you know, when are you going to bring some stuff out for us? GT1000 is now, you know, to optimize for bass guitar players as well, not just for us loud guitar players. Yeah, yeah. So it's got that. Um, version 2 was not so long ago. There's some great new features, new toys and effects to play mm -hmm. with in version 2. So I think with this launch today with version 3, not only is it like our flagship um, guitar effects processor, but it's, it's pretty formidable. Mm. It's a hell of a lot of things that, I mean... If I, you know, we've got the app that you can use, so you can, you don't even have to use the editor software. Yeah. You can use the editor software via your phone or your Android app and stuff like that. Um, that means you can essentially virtually sound check. You can virtually tune your patches into the venues, you know, using the looper, which is super cool. If you've never used that, it's it's a total total new way of like making sure that whatever the venue that you're in so for, as you know mike if we <laughs> program this today we're programming it to this room as soon as you go out to your gig on saturday or your event or your venue it's not going to sound the same it's not going to sound the same and yeah you know your first i don't know 20 minutes a lot of us are tweaking and oh, bending yeah, yeah. over and tweaking and stuff but we're not by, facing the audience we're not exactly, <laughs> yeah. so by using your phone with the editor app that's via Bluetooth, we can then essentially go out front, listen to what it sounds like, and then tune the effects like your drive pedals, your modulation, your time-based mm. stuff to the venue, and instantly save it. Yes, um, it we can instantly recall them via the librarian. And so it's still got all those cool features on it, but mm. it's you know them, them three cool things that I mentioned earlier on. Come on, show us some of your favorite sounds. Go on. Some of my favorite sounds. Okay, I think... Um, for a guitar player, especially nowadays, you know, we, um, the, the ability to have everything at your, you know, at your disposal that you would use in a studio is, is amazing, but it's also something that you can literally fit in your gig bag and it's, you know, you're not going to spend, you know, hundreds of pounds on f like freight and f if you're doing mm. flying gigs and stuff like that, that's really, really important. But again, ultimately, what does it sound like? Mm. What does it feel like under your fingers? That's really, really key. I think that's the thing that GT1000, the feedback that we've had at Boss, mm. is this feels really different. Mm. You know, it feels like you're plugging into an amplifier, yeah. not a multi-effects unit. Again, without going too deep, it's the way the technology works in it. You know, it's derived from like our Blues Cube and our Katana range of amplifiers. Yeah. So it's reacting really, really responsibly and dynamic. I think with me as well, I've got a guitar today that's got, you know, EMG pickups. I use guitars with passive pickups. Mm -hmm. I know when I use these guitars, it sounds and feels totally, t yeah. totally different. But I know everyone's thinking, make some noise now, will you play <laughs> some sound? So yeah, some of the cool things that you can do on this. So I'm in patch mode right now. Um, if I press, I've, let's see, control three, I've got all this stuff available to me now. So if I just make some noise. <laughs> So you'll hear, should, hopefully you should hear some like <laughs> ping pong delay going on there. That 
really big rich sound there turn that off turn the distortion off it's just nice and chunky yeah. and again within that patch i've got all things like you no know, tremolo effects You got all this stuff that you this is the same patch yeah because of the manual mode that i've got i can instantly access anything that i want and i've programmed this to be for my specific sounds yeah. that i use and i think that's the other thing it's personal now so yeah. obviously there's presets on there that you might dial in there oh, that sounds pretty cool yeah. but most of us we have our own personal i know you do oh, we all have our own personal favorites so give, us, you, give me some shimmer reverb give me some <laughs> shimmer reverb okay you should you ask and i shall give so thank you We've got a nice, I've got on this guitar, I've got Pietro Saddles, so that means I'm going to get a really rich, like an acoustic type sound, okay, so you can hear the quality of the, the effect on it. I'm into the manual mode now, so this is where a lot of fun happens, so if I've got, if I want it to be really big and lush, What I've also done now within this, you can actually, you can't actually see this, but we'll show you <laughs> shortly, is we've got, I've assigned button one and two to be my tap tempos for not only a master delay, but a separate delay altogether, mm. and I can control it, depending if the drummer's getting a bit too excited yeah. or if he's, you know, he's a bit tired, I can, <laughs> I can sign that in with him. Um, so I've got that really rich sound there. I've also assigned essentially there, just get rid of that last loop that I use. So I've got a looper now on mm -hmm. number five. So within the patch, I can essentially play along with it. this stuff that's within the patch mm. you've got all your favorite toys just <laughs> literally there that you can start playing with yeah um and essentially that's the you know the, the manual mode that we've got yeah we have got like the bass mode on there as well so for all you bass players now this unit is is, is specifically a setup for you so you've got um specific bass patches you've got specific bass preamps mm -hmm. you've got uh, some of the x series technology in this as well so x series is uh, boss pedals you've got like a ds1x od1x you've got the bass compressors and stuff yeah. the thing that's unique about the x series is that it processes the effect per string mm. so that makes it really dynamic so if you've got a four or a five string bass you want to check that out if you're using like distortion and drive again it's per string, mm. so it's really, really dynamic. So these are all the stuff that's been on the GT1000 from day one. Mm. Now we're gonna give bass players the chance to get their hands on and you know, dial in their favorite tones. So.